we have little margin left for error or strategic surprise. Unprepared units, unmaintained equipment, untrained soldiers. Uh, where we're going with the budget, there's just a lot of unanswered questions. We have a total force that is under significant strain. The budget certainty has not allowed us to recover the readiness we need to recover at the pace we need to recover. All of us in uniform are eager for three things that we talk about constantly. Budget certainty, mm -hmm. you know, we, this renegotiating the budget every year, which is part of our system, and under normal circumstances, we find ways to deal with it. But I don't think we should consider that we're in normal circumstances. You know, the threats that we face are increasing. And so this budget uncertainty exacerbates what is already a pretty challenging circumstance. The second thing we talk about is time. If we have to reduce the budget, spread it out, as opposed to imposing it one year at a time and through a series of continuing resolutions. And then the third thing is flexibility. You know, we, we've been challenged by, the, by our elected leaders to reform and to become more efficient and to uh, eliminate excesses. And no, we haven't been able to achieve those reforms. Every year, we've been supported in those efforts at only about the 30th percentile. So of, of the 100 percent of things we've tried to do, we've gotten support for only about 30 percent of it. If you were to bake the savings into your budget, because you have to, to meet all of the requirements and maintain a balance of capability, capacity, and readiness, and then you don't get the reforms and the money that comes with them, You've got to find it someplace, and normally where you have to go find it is in readiness. We are somewhat a victim of our own success. It's why we're having a, some trouble articulating the effect of the budget, is we keep getting it done. Right. And it's hard to describe the erosion that's occurring. You know, erosion is, a, is tough to identify. It's not temporal. You know, you never know when it will it will, when that erosion will, will cause a collapse or a near collapse. And so the erosion of our advantages is troubling. But again, it's somewhat because we're victims of our own success and we're having trouble articulating the, the way we're accruing risk long term.